In this episode, we examine the question, is organic farming bad for the environment? So in this week's lesson, we will evaluate the impact on the environment of non-organic methods of growing food. We will use information from several sources to formulate an opinion and read the information and then respond to items that follow. So here's our task. A fifth grade student was asked to carry out research on the impact on the environment of non-organic methods of growing food. She searched the internet and found three sources. The information from the sources are represented below. Source 1. Intensive or non-organic farming. In non-organic farming, few crops or animals are lost to disease. We have high yields, fruits and vegetables may look better, they have regular shapes and sizes. Non-organic food is generally cheaper. Non-organic food may last longer. Source 2. Conventional farms beat organic farms. When it comes to crop yields, organic farms are about 20% less efficient than conventional farms. Researchers discovered that useful information on the environmental impact of farming was hard to find. The reason is because most studies did not bother to examine yields. If farm A pollutes 10% more than farm B but produces twice as much food as farm B, then farm A is clearly better. Most previous studies simply ignored that. High yield farms are better for the environment in multiple ways. A statement by the University of Cambridge summarizes this succinctly. More intensive agriculture that uses less land may also produce fewer pollutants, cause less soil loss, and consume less water. Some high yield farming practices ought to change. For high yield farming to have a positive impact on the environment, the world cannot continue converting wilderness into farmland. Habitat destruction, usually due to agriculture, is the greatest threat to biodiversity. Organic farms produce fewer crops and are worse for the environment. Don't build more of them. Source 3. The differences and similarities between organic and conventional farms. So here we have on one side, we have the organic farmer and we have conventional farmer. So... For the organic farmer, they use natural methods, more labor, so it costs more, and they have no pesticides or hormones. It's healthier for humans and for the environment. And then we have here, it costs less, okay? Um, uses chemicals and products to alter unnaturally the growing process and can be dangerous to the environment and to people. Similarities, both methods of growing products, they are both methods that are used, and here requires a lot or a little of manual work. 1. List the pros and cons of non-organic farming. So pros of non-organic farming and the cons of non-organic farming. So when we look at non-organic, we can see that the pros, it costs less, right? Uh, that's one and it may require um, less manual labor in terms of the cons it changes um, things unnaturally right the growing process unnaturally and it can be harmful to the environment so those are some of the pros of non-organic farming and the cons of non-organic farming two the government of Jamaica wants to put a ban on non-organic farming. Do you agree with this ban? Cite evidence from the sources to assist you with your stance. So you're now going to have to look at the sources. So in source one, we can talk about uh, the animal loss um, to disease. We can talk about the yield, the difference in yield. We, you know, we can go to source two, we can talk about the efficiency, right, in terms of using fewer pollutants and less, you know, growing things more intensively is better, 
right? And then we can use the table here and pull the pros and cons to put them into our essay. So in this episode, we were answering the question, is organic farming bad for the environment? And we can conclude that there are advantages and disadvantages to organic farming. All right, guys, make sure that you go through, you complete your essay, turn them into your teachers, and I will see you in the next episode. 